that ye be not partakers of her sins. Giving all praise to Yahweh Bashem Yahushai Bashem And this is a continuation of uh, Revelation 18 chapter. And I'm in the fourth verse. And I previously did a video a couple of days ago. Let me see if I can find it. So I can give you the uh, exact <clears throat> title of the video. Uh, Babylon is falling. So this is a continuation of uh, the video Babylon is falling under a different title. Revelation 18 verse 4 and I heard another voice from heaven saying come out of her my people that ye be not partakers of her sins and that ye receive not of her plagues now the voice that was heard was the voice of the heavenly host of a particular angel that said to come up and they and they went up into heaven in the presence of the Lord and the angels that's in Revelation 11 I'll give you the verse in a second. You can start the eighth verse. But I want is the twelve verse. Revelation eleven verse twelve. And they and they heard a great voice from heaven saying <clears throat> unto them, the Israelites, come up hither. And they ascended up to heaven in a cloud. Now what does it say in Acts chapter 1? The two men, the apostles gazing in the, up into heaven. And the two men dressed in white, which were angels. The two angels said, well one of them said, Why stand ye gazing into heaven? The same way the, your Lord went up into heaven is the same way he's coming back. Now, he didn't go into an actual cloud. He went into a ship. Now, pursuant to the 12th verse of Revelation 11, it says, We will ascend up to heaven in a one cloud. So when you read Second Ezra, the 14th chapter, or the 13th chapter, excuse me, Ezra, the prophet, and saw the Lord coming down and what he thought was a mountain, and he looked to see where the mountain was uh, um, excavated was you know taken taken out it wasn't a mountain it was a ship now you have uh and I did videos of this in the past uh Cheyenne a uh, mountain retreat I think it's called if you go to Google you'll see it and it's a uh, mountain that they made into a uh a bunker we can say and they said when you read up do the research on it it says it can hold over a million people so when you count the 144,000 
that's really a small number and the rest of the elect we don't know the exact number the multitude it could be a million it could be five million but this ship that the Lord's coming back in will be able to hold as many people as desired so pursuant to Revelation 11 verse 12 it will be one ship the rest of the ships will be the angels destroying this place and I'm just going by this verse right here and it says in their enemies beheld them who are who are your animals men who are your enemies Esau number one the other nations and Jake Israelites does, does not you know set up to make it which we call the two-thirds the wicked Israelites, the scoffers, the ones that that took the uh, the M O T B, which has nothing to do with Christianity. Whoever's still teaching that, and an embargo, whatever they, whatever madness or nonsense that they teach, if they don't change their way of thinking, thinking. They're going to be destroyed because you're leading Israelites astray. And you're deceiving the people. When you tell people that the MOTB is something other than what GMS says it is, you're actually deceiving the people, which makes you not a prophet. Thirteen verse Revelation eleven verse thirteen and the same and the same hour was there a great earthquake and that's that the earth being pelted by uh, the ICBMs the lasers from the ship the earth is going to actually rock back and forth and the tenth part of the city uh, fell and then the earthquake were slain of men 7,000. So it said the tenth part of the city, and it says of men 7,000. Now we know seven represents completion. So anybody that's here in North America, the USA, you will be destroyed. And the remnant were affrighted and gave glory to the Most High of heaven. We represent the remnant. The second woe is past, and behold, the third woe cometh quickly. I have to read the 15th verse. And the seventh angel sounded, and there were great voices in heaven saying, The kingdoms of this world, Esau's world, are become the kingdoms of our Lord and of his Messiah, and he shall reign forever and ever. And who else is going to reign? The elect of Israel, and then the rest of Israel. Romans, the 8th chapter and the 16th verse, starting from the 16th verse, it speaks about us being joint heirs. So now let's come back to Revelation 18 and 4. And I heard another voice from heaven saying, Come out of her, my people. Now we know what that means. It was an angel that summoned the elect to come up hither. So they were beamed up, if you will, into the into the ship that ye be not partakers of her sins. And her sins, um, you know, we can 
write a whole book on the sins of America. You know, the bestiality, the homosexuality, the lesbianism, the eating pork, the eating of unclean uh, foods, uh, not honoring the Sabbath, not honoring the Lord. I mean, we can go on and on. The list goes on and on. It says that ye be not be not partakers of her sins, and that ye receive not of her plagues. Let me look up the word plagues. Strong's G, 4127, play gay. Play gay. And that's what these devils are doing, playing gay. It says, a blow, stripe, a wound, a public calamity, heavy affliction, plague. So that plague that they're going to get hit with, that number one plague, they're being plagued right now with heat waves and uh, major fires out there in the west. Uh, There's flooding. Um, New York, part of New York, got flooded out. Now this is the root for plague gay. Strong's G, 4141. Pleso. Pleso. Pleso, which means to strike, smite. Strong's G, 4111. Plaso. Plaso. Ooh. Now that's the root. That goes deeper into the root. Which means to form, mold, something from clay, wax, etc. Use of a potter. What should come to mind? Romans the ninth chapter. The Lord made two vessels from one lump of clay. One for honor and one for dishonor. And the one for dishonor that he made for dishonor represents Esau, the Edomites. So you keep playing gay, and you're going to get play gayed. Anyway, let's come back to Revelation 18, verse 4 again. And I heard another voice from heaven saying, Come out of her, my people, which are the uh, elect of Israel, not all Israel, that ye be not partakers of her sins, and the mark of the beast is not necessarily sin, but the mark, the, accepting the mark of the beast is a sin. Because the Lord commanded you not to take, take the MOTB. Now going back to the Israelite groups that say it's not the MOTB is not talking about what we at here at GMS is talking about. Uh, says it is, but it's something else, then they're committing, they're, they're, they're causing you to commit sin. Because that's a sin. You take that, you take that jab, you take that, and, and people are saying, oh, the jab is an MOTB. And I said from the beginning, I don't believe it is, but I wouldn't take it any damn way. And the more time it takes for, for Esau, the elite of Esau, to jab everyone, the more people are beginning to wake up. They're, they're finding out that um, anytime you have a doctor that uh, is contrary, their opinion is contrary to that of other doctors pushing this, this, this thing, that people are starting to do more research and they're fleeing away pursuant to uh, 
of Psalm 64. It says, I'm um, par paraphrasing it, tongue shall fall among, up, upon himself, and um, the others shall flee. Matter of fact, let me get that. Psalms sixty four. Really, you should read the whole chapter. It's, it's only ten verses, but uh, what I want to go to. I'll start the seven verse. Psalm sixty four and seven. But the most high shall shoot at them with an arrow, suddenly shall they be wounded. And that and that arrow is this truth of who they are. This is Babylon the Great. The so called white men are descended from Esau. The people of Ancient pagan Rome were descended from Esau. And that um, the Edomites and their devils. So they shall make their own tongue to fall upon themselves. All that see them shall flee away. So all that see that they are the wicked shall flee away. That's why you have a, a big... A, a huge amount of people, mainly doc, a lot of doctors and nurses that refuse to take it. So if a doctor or a nurse or someone in the med medical field refuse to take it, they know something that we don't know. And it says, all that see them shall flee away. They shall get away from them. And all men shall fear and shall declare the work of the Most High. So you got Jake out there that more, more and more, each day that goes by, they're starting to believe this truth. Believe it or not, you got a lot of Christians that watch our videos. If not for anything else, for the prophecies. So the Most High put the Spirit on us that we understand these prophecies thoroughly. So now let's come back to... Revelation 18. The fourth verse again. And I heard another voice from heaven saying, Come out of my people. The answer to Revelation 18 verse 4 is Revelation 11 verse 12. Now what high priest Ariana and the other high priest is taught that um oh you got to come out of the system you know we got to get um passports we got to hop on planes and we got to go down to south america or um, some other country they mainly said south america which was not so we're going to be delivered by uh the angelic forces led by yahweh shai it says come out of her, my people, that ye be not partakers of her sins, and that ye receive not of her plagues. And the, and the major plague is um, the missiles. For plagues have reached unto heaven, for her sins have reached unto heaven, and the most I have remembered her iniquities. So they're committing all manner of sins. Plus, they're taking it up into the heavens. So they're going to get knocked out of heaven pursuant to uh, Revelation chapter 12. It says, reward her even as she rewarded you and double unto her according to her works. In the cup which she hath filled, filled to her double. How much she have glorified herself. We're talking about Esau, mainly the elite, the super rich. 
and live deliciously. Let's look up that word, deliciously. Strong's G, 4763, Strainiao. 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 Which means to be wanton, to live luxuriously. And and Jake, you know, you got Jake in the NBA. You got boxes out there. You know, one person that comes to mind, uh, Floyd Mayweather, you know, LeBron James, MJ. You know, they became multi millionaires slash billionaires and they show it off with their luxuries so these jakes in the world that are living this luxurious life they're going to take that uh MOTB because they want to continue to live that luxurious life remember he that doesn't take it cannot buy or sell and that's already happening with the jab so there's some rough times ahead for the ones of you that don't take it and this is talking about the super rich among Esau and among Jake and among the other nations So it's really a curse to be that rich. So I'm back in Revelation 18. Seven verse. Revelation 18 verse 7. How much she hath glorified herself and lived deliciously, luxuriously. <laughs> any singer among Jake, any athlete, professional athlete, boxer, baseball player. You have a lot of the Latin tribes that play baseball on the highest level. And they live luxurious, they were born poor and they live a luxurious life. And they're accepted by the super rich of Esau. So much torment and sorrow give her, for she saith in her heart, I sit a queen and am no widow and shall see no sorrow. And that's that pride, Obadiah, the pride of thine heart have deceived thee thou that dwelleth in the cliffs of the rocks. Another precept that comes to mind is um, <coughs> Isaiah chapter 47, which you're not going to go into. Eight verse. Therefore shall her plagues come in one day, death and mourning and famine. That's the destruction and she shall be utterly burnt with fire. What fire? The nuclear fire. The ICBMs. For strong is the Lord who judges her. The her is talking about the USA. It says, let me read that again. The A verse. Therefore shall her plagues come in one day. Yeah, one particular of an, and within an hour, that's in Revelation, the ninth chapter, death and mourning and famine, and she shall be utterly burned with fire, for strong is the Lord that judges her. Mm. And we're the only group that teaches that. Anyway, with that, I'm going to say Shalom. So I'm, 
I read up until up into uh, verse 8 of uh, chapter Revelation 18. So we have uh, from the ninth verse to the 24th verse. So with that, I'm going to say...